Nigerian farmer Enoch Fati has barely slept in the past few days. Water levels have started rising at his paddy farm and in a major river nearby. While the northern Borno state was recently hit by its worst flooding in three decades, the central Benue state, a major food producer, is now facing its own deluge. It's almost covered with water again. Having suffered flood losses before, Fatty says he didn't plant as much rice this year. He had been hoping to earn 800,000 naira, or a little over 495 US dollars, from his crop. Even the little one I did, I'm still about losing it because of the water again. Two years ago, Benue was among states badly hit by floods following torrential rains. The downpour and neighboring Cameroon releasing water from the upstream Lagdo Dam caused the Benue River to burst its banks. Cameroon has this week again started releasing water from the dam. That's after heavy rains across western central Africa that also caused the floods in Borno State. Trader Awandonese Nyor says she started packing her things. But my fear is that I don't have anywhere to stay for now. Now if the water has come, I don't have anywhere to stay. Benue is among Nigeria's breadbasket states. It supplies staples like rice, cassava and yams. One fear is that floods could destroy farms and drive up food prices, at a time when Nigerians are grappling with double-digit inflation and a cost-of-living crisis.